If you are anything like me, you'll find regular cubic dice quite boring. And this is the cosmic background radiation dice. And when you throw it, it will start to build a number by detecting particles in this Geiger tube. And those particles were created when the Big Bang happened, quite a while ago. Now it will measure the time between particles, and depending if it's an uneven or even number of microseconds, it will create either a zero or a one. And when you have enough ones or zeros, it'll build a decimal number and display it on this Nix tube. And as a fun fact, the Nix tube is from old USA and the Gaia tube is from old Soviet Russia, creating an interesting symbiosis between two parts of the Iron Curtain. So in your next game of uh, whatever, why not include something from the beginning of everything? Looks like we got an 8. Okay, so this is the electronics of the background radiation dice. And uh, this is the Nixie tube. And here we have the microcontroller that controls everything. Here's a bulb that says that this high voltage supply is on. And here is the Geiger counter with the Geiger Miller tube here. So if I turn this on, it'll start detecting background radiation and when I throw the dice I push a button like this and it will shuffle until it has a random number and the number is determined by the length between the um, detections of particles and if it's an even number it's uh, a zero and if it's an uneven number it's a one and then you build a, a number by zeros and ones in, in binary and then converts that into a decimal number in this case eight so it takes two particles to determine one number and that is eight particles in total to get um, a number between zero and uh, 15 but then I throw away all the numbers above uh, 10 which corresponds to from uh, from zero to, to nine, I will keep because this can only display a zero to nine. So now we've got a five and we can do this as much as we like. And this will then be mounted into the um, cube and the nice compartment. Okay, so here it's mounted on the board and uh, this is the top side with the control panel. Uh, on off switch, big LED and the um, roll the dice button, the Nixie tube and the um, Geiger tube. And before I put this all together, I want to show you the how it looks like underneath here. Um, now I can't point, but this is the uh, Mighty Ohm Geiger counter. I moved the Geiger tube to the other side, and here's a little board with a control circuit and the uh, Nixie IC. And here's the high voltage supply. All comes from 12 volt power supply there. And now this will be put together on top of another uh, ply, ply, uh, ply board sheet.